With that breaking news in Northwest DC, a man in the hospital tonight after setting himself on fire outside the Israeli embassy. Thanks for being here tonight. I'm Delia Gonsalves. This all happened right on International Drive, causing several road closures along Van Ness Street and Connecticut Avenue. Our Alexis Wainwright joins us live from the scene with brand new details. Alexis, we know this is still developing, but what do you know so far? Well, good evening. Tonight I can tell you that we are still working to learn what exactly led up to this, why this happened, and who exactly this man is. What I can tell you, for the last past five hours, U.S. Secret Service has been outside of this embassy here, right where this man lit himself on fire. If you take a look behind me, you can see those burn marks where that fire started. Something else we want to show you is this scene video where all the different agencies were there who responded this afternoon. U.S. Secret Service, MPD, and D.C. Fire. D.C. Fire says they received a call around 1 p.m. and when crews arrived, they found a man who set himself on fire in front of the Embassy of Israel. The fire was put out and the man was taken to a local hospital. MPD's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team was also requested to the scene in reference to a suspicious vehicle that may be connected to the individual that was later towed. Now, we do know that MPD is leading this investigation tonight. They tell us that that man is still in the hospital with critical injuries. Of course, we'll continue to follow this. The investigation and all of this is still ongoing right now. I can also tell you, Delia, within the last 10 minutes or so, we saw more police here taking pictures of those fire marks. So obviously a lot still developing here, but we'll continue to update you as we learn more for now. Live in Northwest, Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9. That is very disturbing, Alexis, but we know investigators will stay on top of it and you will stay on top of it as well. Thank you for that report. You can expect more from WUSA 9 on this breaking news for updates anytime. Download the WUSA 9 app on your phone and watch us anytime on the free WUSA 9 Plus streaming 